just start the last game. I'm just starting immediately. Alright. Why, but I would imagine that Pikachu Sonic would be bad for Sonic because of uh, like horizontal space being occupied by uh, literal electricity would be kind of rough on Sonic specifically. Well, I mean, remember the start of his spin dash is invincible, so he can just kind of ignore the T jolt in front of him and he can immediately jump. I mean, normally I, I would agree as well, just like anyone who can keep up with Sonic usually gives Sonic trouble, so. Uh, yeah. Mm. But, I mean, Sonic's been keeping it pretty even. Uh, slight lead even, so... Slight lead even. The best kind of even. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... Which, like, technically correct. It's just kind of keeping him, uh, keeping him out, and, you know, a stage like PS2, widest stage in the game. So, he's got a lot of place to run. Ooh, okay. Didn't tech it, but didn't have enough damage or knockback to kind of send him fast enough, so able to make it back. Okay. Yeah, uh, Mouse Rat's just trying to find an opening here, and he's just like trying to open with those T-Jolts, but it, Sonic Fiend's just not giving it to him. And I like the fact that Sonic Fiend isn't like kind of like fishing for the kills. He's just like, yeah, I'll just stay back. It's fine. Ooh, but the the ill-advised homemade attack gave him an opening for a dash attack, but still able to make it back to the stage. You can tell he's getting a little bit nervous, maybe? I, or, I mean, is he trying to kill with, for, uh, with homing attacks? Certainly possible, but I feel like if he were to stick to the strategy, he wouldn't have lost his first, uh, that stock just there. So now Mouse Rat with a lead is what I would say, because Fiend gonna just, uh, <laughs> you know, repay in kind right away. All right, well, you know what? This is perfectly even, apparently. Now. Yep. Uh, Slight lead, even. <laughs> That's kind of even. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. These are these are the percents. These are the characters. They're about those margins. <laughs> All right. Now I'm taking a, a marginal lead. <laughs> marginal lead. Building it into a all right, a regular slight lead here. Ooh! Cannot even. Begin. Now Sonic has to do be the one approaching, and that's kind of his uh, weakest form. Yeah, especially when someone's putting up a wall in front of him. All right. I mean, actually, not too far behind. We're back to those margins. We're looking at the gross, we're looking at the me, it's like the overall product. Ooh, here. oh! You bad down smash, you're gonna yeah. get back down for that, kid. Yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna hurt the books, but Fiend's <laughs> gonna be cooking those books. Oh my. It's like, I'm gonna deck you in the face. That, that was, that was close. I miss when he would say go. 
Or, yeah, I, I... Do you like Go Sonic, or do you like Grunt Sonic? You mean Ha Sonic? Ha! Ha! Yeah, I guess I mean Ha Sonic. I never like oh. Go Sonic because it's like that. It's just telling you what you, what you need you to go, do. Go maybe is less obnoxious than uh, him. Just threw him off and then just punched him in the face. Ooh. I don't know that what many characters. What a freeze frame! Like... Look at like where he hit him. Why is his forward smash that big? Oh my god, he's going Terry. Uh... <laughs> Why? Because he won game one. Three, two, it's like I punch you with one character and I'm gonna punch it. Yeah. I respect the hustle. I respect the fact that he's trying to represent character that he's very quiet. Which you know is always good. Alright. Uh, maybe we don't. I mean, Mouse Rat got the first hit and uh, put him off stage into a really precarious situation, but uh, it is Sonic Fiend with uh, the percent lead right now, because uh, Big Burly Guy just gonna smack around the rat. So, you know. Uh, pretty even so far. And honestly, with the stage pick, you know, Pikachu doesn't have too much space to run away. So, okay, well, I mean, when you want to power dunk into the spike box and just kill yourself, cool. I mean, you say, you say Pikachu doesn't have room to run away, but that also means, like, Terry doesn't have room to run away. Oh, yeah. For sure. It definitely goes both ways. It just kind of depends on how much, like, footing uh, Fiend is able to establish. Because if you're not able to establish the footing, it's no longer they have nowhere to run, it's you have nowhere to run. Also the fact that, like, um, it doesn't matter, like, how much space you have against, uh, whatchamacallit, ooh, against ooh, Pikachu, oh. it's like, if he gets you off stage, you're probably gonna die. And it's gonna be a painful death, I promise you. Okay, I like that recovery. Oh. He's made a, he makes a very polite. He just asks very politely, "Are you okay? How are you doing? How's your mother? Is she well?" Guys, <laughs> please. Guys. <laughs> 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 yep. All right. All right. Game two going to Mouse Rat. Uh, didn't really work out. Uh, too well for Sonic Fiends. Terry. Were you ever just like, just so confident you just decided to throw a game away? I mean, I don't think that's how he sees it, but yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't think that's how he sees it. I'm definitely just being a dick right now. Yeah. <laughs> if he just didn't do that power dive or power dunk, whatever it's called, I would have been able to survive. Is that, is that oh is that where the uh, reality split? Yeah, because then he had to then he had to approach. It's where he, then he had to approach. <laughs> is that the where we go down the good timeline where Sonic Green uh, just moved on the winter semis and, and it wasn't a waste of our time? I'm kidding. Sonic well, Green. damn. You can play whoever the hell you want, bro. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> geez. Bro, I'm tired. I Helper go to after bed. work is very mean. I'm very cranky right now. There's a reason why I was never smiling at Xenos. Alright, back to the Sonic. Much, I'm definitely more of a weekend person when it comes to T when it came to TLA. Alright. Back to go. PS2. Interesting. I mean, honestly, you know what? No, not not that interesting. Uh, <laughs> pretty expected. It, it, it's it's a big stage. Like why not? Ugh. It's like you know he's gonna get rid of like Kalos and FD. So like yeah, pick the super huge stage. Why not? I love it. I love the 
Oh, I'm not really sure if I understand the decision. Actually, no, I understand exactly where the yeah. decision came from. Yeah, so never mind. A little bit longer. <laughs> Just give it a quick thought. Yeah. A platform that can stop thunder jolts. Massive. Stage is huge. I. Uh... It is definitely a uh, chungus of a stage. Kids are still into that, right? <laughs> All right, we're really uh, doubling down on those margins again. We got a 3% lead into 6% lead. Ooh, all right. Oh, this is a nice payday here. See, the key to investment isn't to try to get like a large sum of Lump money. Sum. It's to just make very small incremental. Yeah, you go for those tiny hits. You're like, all right, That's how I'm you build uh, your portfolio much. and you diversify your bonds. <laughs> Your 401k is not gonna be healthy if you uh, if you keep investing in these super big companies. How are you gonna make a lot of money off of Apple? You're not. You're gonna get All at right. most five dollars. So here we go. Uh, kind of a similar situation from game one, uh, but this time Sonic Fiend wasn't able to like get an immediate kill. So that's gonna be a big difference just because now, like Mouse Rat's gonna have like time and positioning to you know make it that it's very difficult for him to get in and if he does he's gonna pay a price yeah i don't think uh Ooh. mouse rat's gonna give him that easy opportunity to get a kill like last time i i swear i think mouse rat has like the weirdest uh thunders infinite deletion this is in fact best of three the next set that's gonna be on stream is the best of five Boom. All right. I like that one. Honestly, 60 damage if uh, Sonic Fiend's able to get the kill soon. Not the worst. You really see like a big thing coming. Right? Unless you just let him go for that again. You must have just decided to play like really patient. All right. So now, I mean, so now Sonic Bean kind of has to contend with the fact that, yeah, no, he's not going to play super aggressively if he probably wanted to. Ugh. Okay, see, and this is what we're talking about. Those margins, they grew. Penny saved, penny earned. Now Mouse Rat's got a, a big lead. Made the right calls at the right times, and it starts coming together. He shorted that stock when he really should have. Now his funds are maturing, dude. Yeah. He's all set for retirement. Income from multiple places. He's got time actually... on his side, he's got a stock, he's got a lead. Like, it's looking good for a good old investor mouse rat. Oh no, the economy's taking a turn. <laughs> <laughs> he might lose his investment on percent in stock. Oh no, the oh. president tweeted about something that would negatively affect the economy. Oh god. Might be bad times ahead. <laughs> Is Mouse Rat gonna uh, dodge the recession? Did he invest in uh, recession proof uh, industries? Industries like the timer? The timer's gonna continue what it's doing no matter what. Uh, timer see, don't care. Timer does not care. Ooh, okay. That's gonna be it, yeah. Dodging, uh, was able to sell right before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> right before any real this damage. Analogy, this analogy kind of outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect.
<laughs> oh god. I'm not saying it wasn't a good analogy. I'm just saying that it's just way too deep. Definitely oh, fantastic. I mean, when you got two <laughs> characters who want to like play at OD save, it kind of writes itself. God damn. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god. That's a fucking mood, man. We're, we're just we're just looking at his portfolio right now. Like the the history of his uh, investments. Perfect. <laughs> 